What's up guys? It's King Daddy Dmac and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast here on Hermitcraft and I'm in one of my ages right now where we did all of our bees and it is getting nutty here. Look at all this lightning. <laughs> oh my god, put out the fire, put out the fire. No, 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 no. Okay, so anyway, this is all going on, of course, as you know from last time, because we're breeding up all these bees that produce the redstone, the glowing combs, and uh, this was the final one that we got last time, so pretty cool. It's the highest level of the redstone bees. Oh man, you gotta stop this. Anyway, let me run over here. So anyway, um, I've been breeding up, and I've got the, let's see, these are the three different ones the ecstatic the energetic and the excited the excited was the first level one and those i've got bred up got a couple of different princesses and yeah i think they're about ready to be worked in the overworld and that's been oop, wrong thing that's not my bealizer these bad boys let's take a look Ooh, very nice i was able to breed off the effects of the lightning which is going to be very very important if we're going to want to do this over at our base um as far as the climate it's all good in the hood here but at our base it might be a little bit of issues but most importantly through breeding with the rock bees i was able to get the nocturnal trait so they'll work at night they are flyers so they'll work during the rain and cave will be able to do it finally downstairs in our base it won't have to be um up by the surface so anyway those are the important things let's head back and let's see if we can get this going with our new alvearies let's see where's my book lower base awesome so let's take a look over here i have an apiary set up just so that we can take a look at the climate Ooh, and that's rough we need it to be down to about a hundred percent here and the humidity, I think, somewhere around 40. And we're at 0 and 200. So, what the heck are we going to do? Now, we could use some of these extra bee machines and try and genetically breed these bees the way we want it to work. But I'm getting, you know, we'll actually get to that hopefully today. But I want to play around more with these alveary blocks with alveary lighting so if you guys guys weren't nocturnal i can just stick that in an alveary and it would work if they weren't flying we could do it in the rain and this guy is what we're going to need these hydro regulators so that we can bring up the humidity and then not heaters already hot enough these fans so we can bring down the temperature so i've got a bunch of this stuff all ready for us i think i can just break this chest and run with it all right, so let's see here. The lighting we don't need, but I'm going to use one of the blocks anyway in case we end up using this for a different bee. So we have our fans we want to get set up and our hydro regulators. Okay, so I think right about here will be good. Those are the hydro regulators. Can we look in these yet? No, we have to finish the building it. Okay, and it's got our fans. Okay, looking good, looking good. Let's do some frame housing. I'm only going to use six in this one. Now, last time we used a crap ton. I want to say almost the entire alveary we built with the uh, frame housing. People were telling me, don't need that many. So, I think six was the number they said was the max I needed. I could be wrong on that. I'll have to check again. But it's good to know, but it's still very cool that we don't need to use that mutator block. Even though it's not that expensive. It's still just kind of fun to get around that. Because that does cost either, I think, uranium or a nether star if we want to get a perfect mutation. I actually tested it out with Hypno, and we made some platinum bees first try stacking using the frame housings, using that setup that I had in the last video. Also got a new member to the server last time, if you didn't see that. Uh, make sure to go check it out, but very good friend of mine, Blast from the Past. So hopefully I'll be able to get some recording done with him as well soon. And of course, I still haven't done anything with Hypno. 
or anybody in so long. So I really should be a little bit better about that. All right, so these guys, I'm assuming, are going to need power to work. And these guys, water. Now, let me just go grab some stuff out. So I can actually interact with the hydro regulator. You can see there's a little inventory spot and a tank. So that, I'm assuming, is going to be water. Let's see here. Let's grab some water. And these guys are so handy, these little wax capsules. I'm assuming that's how you would stick it in. Machine. Can't shift click it in. All right, so that gets the water in. When I put that in, look at that humidity rise. So that's pretty cool. And the temperature went down. That's not bad. Now let's get, let's see, item tesseract, liquid tesseract. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to just pump it in should tesseract i'm sorry i keep saying that wrong people are just going nutty about that tesseract all right so let's get water and let's do receive only cool and is that working yes it is awesome so we're already down now to normal humidity sweet so let's get the energy side going. All right, so for now we're gonna use the energy tesseract. And receive only base redstone off. All right, and we need one more of the conduit wires. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, awesome, you see those lit up? Let's see what's going on with the temperature. It's going down and we're at normal. Awesome. So we're at normal, normal. It's gonna work with those bees now. Pretty sweet. We're gonna have to automate these frame housings. How can we do that easily? You know what? I'm gonna do this. We're gonna knock you back apart. And I want these to be visible from the bottom. Of course, we're going to move this later. But for now, let's go like this. And let's go lighting and the rest over here. Okay. And if I go underneath, where was it? Right here. All those should be visible to play around with. With our AE wire. Okay, we don't need that many out. Those six right there. Okay, cool. So, where's there an AE wire? Oop. ME. Okay, cool. And I'm going to try this in Export Bus. We'll just test it out for one of them at first. Now I went ahead and I put in in the auto crafting soul frames already and chocolate frames and impregnated frames. So let's see. Yep, so I can craft impregnated chocolate and soul frames. Cool. So let's make three chocolate frames, or we'll just make one for now. Begin. All right, and let's put you in there. Chocolate frame, and we're going to do always craft item. Cool. Or you know what? We can do move single item or craft. So that way, if we have some in our inventory, it will go ahead and do that. Let's extend this wire over here from right there. Okay. You know, I should have done it one back. Awesome. And let's see if that filled up the frame housing. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to fill those all with those export buses. And let's see, what else do we need to do? We need to get this automated so that it can, since these guys are already stacking, just go through the system over and over and over again. 
So to do that, it's going to be probably a little ugly. Um, where is my wooden pipe? There we go. And our target gate. Okay, so over here, let's do a wooden pipe. Let's do an R target gate. And let's set this so that it's, if missing a queen, does that. And then goes to an AP airs pipe, like that. Okay. And we want it to be able to loop so that the queen or the princess and the other drones go back, oop, go back into the blue. So let's set the blue to be any bees. Okay. And then let's do another AP airs pipe right there. And let's have, you know what? I'm going to give it one little extra pipe here. Just so we have some room to work. And now the apiarist pipe. Okay. And then I have two different item tesseract. Tesseracts. Oh, why is that so hard for me to say? All right. So we want green will be any items. And yellow will be any bees. Okay. And if we set the items to go to our quarry and we'll set the bees to go take a wild guess where to the bees all right so now this should automate over and over and over again once we put the bees in so i'm going to throw our princess and our drones in there that should go through and let me just throw on the other chocolate frames. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to do this for now. Chocolate frames. Need four more. Boom. Awesome. Oh, two, three, four. Just throw them in the housing manually. Awesome. Oh, what are we missing? Flowers. Oh my goodness, how could I forget the flowers? Most important part. Now there's something I was thinking about. I think it would look really ugly if I had to have a uh, dirt block in our base. So I was thinking about what are other things that we could possibly do. Now there's flower pots. And I'm curious to see if flowers will activate work if it'll recognize it the same as a planted flower. So let's see. Let me give that a minute. All right, let's see. Ooh, we got something on the ground. All right, it is working. That is freaking awesome. So no more having to worry about dirt. So why is this popping out? Oh, we forgot to set this. So we want to set this one to anything on the red. Perfect. And it should all cycle through just fine so anyway guys while this is working up that's pretty cool we can now breed our bees at the base no worries let's start to work on these extra bee machines though now i was looking through at the recipes on them and i it's making my head spin this is ridiculous look at how many crafts i have to do for each one it is just obnoxious so anyway, there's a little trick with AE. If someone else on the server has already done recipes, and we've done so many, so I don't really feel bad. I don't mind borrowing. But Jassassin, he's made all the different apiarist machines already. And I mean, look at how many patterns we have. We have so much stuff. I've done most all the Greg Tech stuff, solar panels, thermal expansion, routers. So this is everything we have thus far. We have a gene pool, a genetic machine, and an apiarist machine. Um, and then of course all the frames. And I also have from the silk wisps, which we're getting from those tropical bees, they're able to make the string. So pretty, pretty nifty. Let's head over to Jassassin's and go see what we can do with his patterns.
All right, guys, here we are over at Jassassin's Spot. This is where his little miscraft book brings us. And when I've been watching his videos, pretty good, by the way, guys. If you don't watch him already, make sure to go check him out. He's doing bees also, which is cool. And I wonder how far he's gotten. Imperial. 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 Noble. Majestic. Industrial is cool, so he can make the Alvieri's also. Awesome and cultivated. Pretty neat, in fact. I wonder... Let's see. In his AE system. Nope, doesn't have any drones in there. Anyway, his base is coming along. You know what? I probably shouldn't be showing this in case he did some work over here. But not bad. Not bad. Now, this is why I freaking love AE Awesome. So right here, I have a pattern encoder. And what this does is if you put stuff in here, you can, you know, choose different stuff to craft, whatever. So let's take a look at all the stuff he has. Ooh. Look at all these B things awesome so i think he's gonna have just about every b machine that we want hopefully i have enough patterns with me but let's check this out so if i want to take this guy this guy this guy this guy what else that we don't have all right so what i can do is i can just take this guy take them out and then put a blank pattern in and code and then I have a duplicate pretty freaking sweet so now I'm not gonna have to go through doing every single one of these we already have that one but I'm not gonna have to go and craft every single freaking one of these things I can just duplicate his just like that not bad, not bad. All right, guys. So here's all the things that I made duplicates of from his system. So I'm not taking them from his system, from his system, just duplicating them. So thank you so much, Assassin. We're going to have to do something really nice for him as a present. Maybe if we get some cool new bees, we can share them with him. So pretty neat. And I also, I did donate to him, actually. He let me use those his AE system to make all these all these advanced machines because I made a little boo-boo a while back and um, I traded him um, the use of his crafting for an AESU so pretty cool and a diamond drill but I still think I got the better end of the deal oh man because those guys are just a pain in the butt to do but that little boo-boo what I ended up doing is I have a JJ one of Hypno's safes. In fact, I'll show you. Or it is B area. This line of safes, uh, me, Jassassin, and Hypno are hanging out, and I thought safes were invincible. Like, if I sit here and tried to do it with my pickaxe, it wouldn't break or anything. Well, I was a doofus, I took my uh, JJ and I right clicked on it, and guess what? Boom, broke the safe. And it deleted all the inventory inside. So in that machine, he had all sorts of advanced machines. So um, I ended up using Assassin's thing to make copies of them all. Anyway, let's hop back home. And let's see what the heck all this stuff does. All right, guys, we're back at the base. I've got all those new things in our molecular assembly chamber man i have so much stuff that i can all look oh wait that's the wrong one yeah look at all those things it's almost getting overwhelming all the freaking stuff that we can auto craft anyway we are looking for some serum vials so let's do that uh let's get 64 of them sweet and let's see what should we start with so many new machines let's go with the isolator is that it there we go hopefully this will work begin nice 
All right. So let's plop that baby down. And what do you need? No B. So we got power. It looks like we put a B in here, and then it's going to inoculate into a serum vial. So let's put a serum vial right there. All right. Power's going in, and let's get a B. Now these guys, ooh, why is that? Did we make that many just from that one job? Or is this not pumping out right? I had this mixed up, but we fixed that. I also put in so that it will auto put in proven frames. We get those from trading with the villagers. But anyway, let's take one of these bees. Let's take a couple of these bees. Let's see what we can get out of it. So I believe this is where we get some interesting stuff. Ooh, not getting enough power. Maybe we should switch this over to quarry power. Is that doing a little better? Okay, that's better. We're using up too much of that base power. All right, inoculate. Ooh, what did we get? Average quality, empty. Nocturnal serum. Okay, that's cool. So we can now make any of our bees nocturnal. Pretty freaking sweet. Let's see what we get for the second one. Come on, baby, give me something good. What you gonna get? Bam, what do we get? Slowest flowering serum. Oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna let this go up and get a whole bunch of them, and then we'll come back. All right, guys, so I did a whole bunch of them and decided to switch over to a new type of drone. But anyway, we got our excited species serum. I believe this will turn any bee into an excited bee. So that's pretty cool. And then all sorts of other stuff, cave dwelling, rainfall. Wow, I don't even know what all this stuff is. Rainfall serum, nocturnal serum. So pretty cool. In fact, I think we're gonna need to grab a chest to put all these things in. So let's throw all those serums into here. Cool. Now I want to try and get a certain trait out of this bee. This is the majestic. I believe this is right. Yeah. The majestic bee gives a fertility of four. So that means it can have up to four babies. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't have any negative effects. And we have, these are some of the better ones. Speed, normal, lifespan that I've had for many other B thus far. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna do that for all of our bees and try and extract all the different types of serum possible. Did we get it? Majestic species serum, cool. Short of lifespan, come on, give us that one that does a bunch of babies. Effect cancellation serum, that's cool. So all sorts of new stuff. Anyway, let's move on to the next machine. We are next going to do the synthesizer. All right, synthesizer begin. Awesome. Let's see what this baby does. Bam. All right, so it looks like, see how that's kind of like a symbol for DNA? So I'm assuming we're going to have to pump some liquid DNA into this. So why don't we knock that out? Let's get a liquid tesseract. tesseract. <laughs> um, let's see, item, energy, liquid, noise, gimme, and boom. So let's set this guy up, let's do receive only, and liquid DNA out, and redstone off, cool. So now, this should be filling up from our DNA tank. In fact, let's go just look at how our tanks are doing. This is our honey tank. All right, doing all right. Seed oil and DNA, almost 511 buckets on the nose. So that's pretty good. Oof. Let's get up here. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so that's kind of cool. Look at that. I don't think that DNA no. What do I have set wrong? Did I do this again? Receive only. DNA out. Huh. Why is you not working? Maybe the DNA doesn't. No, it should. It should be DNA. Let's see what's going on. Maybe I don't have it set right. 
in the back here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. All right, so we should be all good in the hood now. All right. Yes. Awesome. So synthesizer. What do you do? I'm going to assume we put the serums in here. So let's find a serum that we might want to use. Let's see here. Rainfall. Nocturnal serum, maybe. And if we throw this in, is that how that works? Yep, here we go. And I believe this is going to go through and it's going to fill up the serum vial. Because see how it's empty? And it's going to go all the way to the top. And I believe that does that several times, up to like 16 charges. So let's just see it go once. Oh, I love how these machines look. They're so cool. One charge. And it's going to do that, I believe, 16 times. So I'll see you back once that's done. All right, guys. So our serum completed, but it's with all 16 charges, but it's awful quality. Oh, no. So why don't we use this other machine called the Purifier? I believe this one also is going to ask for the liquid DNA. So let's bring that pipe over and throw you on top. Cool. So it's filling up. And let's see what happens when we put the serum in. It's going through and purifying it. So I'm sure this takes a little while also. So why don't I meet you guys back once it finishes up. All right, guys. So we're back. We have a whole bunch of cool serums. And most importantly, I made an ecstatic serum. Um, we have a normal productivity, so it's better than what our guys already have. Then I have a nocturnal serum, a cave dwelling serum, an effects cancellation, that's real important, and a maximum fertility. So they'll give four baby bees. Anyway, there's two different ways we can go with this. And let's first make the inoculator. How do you spell this? I N O. Okay. Inoculator. So let's craft one of these. And let's set it down and take a peek. Right. Cool. So I believe here we're going to put our serum and then a B, most likely. Now, let's see here. How should we do this? We can either go from a rocky B and try and turn it into the ecstatic. Or we could take the ecstatic and just improve the traits. Now, the Rocky Bees, I believe they, by default, have always... Yeah, look at that. All Nocturnal, Flyer, and Cave. So that could be easier. Plus, look at their tolerances. So hopefully they'll keep that if I change them. But let's, let's find out. So I'm going to put in the inoculator. Let's see. I'm going to put the B there. Let's set down. No, I set it there. And then let's take a serum. Let's turn it into an ecstatic. So let's dump it there. And it's slowly just going to push all that DNA into the bee. Very cool. So I'll be back once this is just about done. All right, so the first inoculation finished, and it is now an ecstatic rocky hybrid. So that's interesting. Let's see how it does on the second round. All right, so once it went through, it popped down here, and it now is a, looks like purebred ecstatic. Let's take a look. Cool. So it's still kind of cruddy traits there, and look at that, fertility is only one. But we have now none for the effects, so that's pretty cool. Plus, check it out. It's got the tolerance of plus and minus two, normal humidity, normal climate. I think these go together, I'm not sure. And then it has nocturnal flyer caves, so very, very cool. Plus, it's got all the good combs, which I believe that doesn't change. So anyway, I'm going to do the same thing for the princess, just so we can start breeding. And then I'm gonna add on the maximum fertility as well as the normal productivity. So let's get that done and we'll be right back. 
Oh man, I'm excited. It finally finished. Man, these take so long to do if you're sitting there watching them go. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Ecstatic. We got it to normal speed, which I believe is how fast it makes the combs. Hopefully that's the case, but that's the best one we have so far. We got the fertility up to four. It doesn't have the lightning effect. Sweet. And is nocturnal, flyer, and cave. Plus, look at that, we now have the right tolerances. And another interesting thing, because we started from a rock bee, the flowers now need to be a rock. So pretty cool, and that's the case on both of them. So let's see these babies work. I set up another apiary, and now, hopefully, because of the tolerances on this guy, we, uh, we should be able to run it right here at our base. Now I set up with AE, if we want to take a peek underneath, I set up both of the uh, item tesseracts underneath here. So they're both pumping in, just like so, and using our R target gate. And then here I have the chocolate frames being made and stuck into there. So, and then we'll probably switch over to a different type of frame, but we want to breed these babies up. So cross your fingers that it works. Ooh, and we might need, just in case, let's grab a piece of cobblestone, just because they require that for flowers. So we'll just do that for now. And let's see how she do. Come on, baby, work for me. Oh, man. So this hopefully should work. I'll give it a minute. But I think I am just about done with bees, at least for videos, for a while. These guys have been a lot of fun, kind of challenging. These machines make it a whole, whole lot easier. But I'm not going to go crazy. I'm happy with my redstone bees. I may work on lapis and glowstone as well, but I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. I know some of you enjoy it. Oh, it worked. And some of you don't. Oh, no. Okay, okay, we're doing good, doing good, nice. That is very cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, that do enjoy bees. I'll keep you updated as to what I'm doing, but I think we're gonna start working on some mob farms come next episode, and we gotta start working on our Greg Tech again. But I hope you all enjoyed. Um, hope you had a wonderful weekend. And yeah, by now I may have hit a hundred thousand subscribers i want to thank you all and i haven't decided yet what to do for a special or just to commemorate this tremendous accomplishment thanks to all of you so let me know in the comments what you might like to see me do and i'll do my best to try and do it but anyway yeah comment like subscribe and peace out